Hey YouTube, your girl Ashley here, and today I'm gonna be talking about stowing at Amazon. So I'm gonna give y'all like the pros, the cons, but first I'm gonna talk about like time off tasks and what it's really like. So for me, I actually like stowing more than I like ship, doc, pick, or pack. And if you guys ever do want a video of me doing, um, I did ship doc already, so if you want a video of me doing pack or talking about pick or I, ribbon, I could definitely make a video about that. Y'all just let me know, comment down below. But, um, my experience with Stowe is I personally like Stowe. Stowe is really chill, really laid back, but at the same time, it's really easy to get fired from you making simple mistakes. Some things that I like about Stowe is you get the freedom to kind of go wherever you want. So they're going to tell you what floor to go on. So it's either first, second, or third, but they're not going to tell you to stay in the 800s and the 700s, the six or the fives, the fours or the threes or the two or the ones they're just gonna say you know go where your stuff fits so that that you know that's chill that's real chill i like the fact that i have the free will to sit if i want to sit anytime i'm doing stuff on uh like the the lowest is she gonna go anyways anytime i'm doing stuff like all the way at the bottom i get to sit down they don't like when you sit down unless you have like something around you so usually whenever i sit on the floor i have my totes around me just in case somebody comes around the corner they don't hit me or nothing and then i sit on the floor like with a box or something but they don't like when you sit on totes they don't like when you sit on ladders they don't like when you sit on your carts they don't like when you sit on the u-boats they don't like any of that so find a nice little box and scooching on the floor he just ran the red light in front of a state trooper Anyways, some more stuff that I like about uh, Stowe is, you know, it's, it's just really relaxed. All my managers, they don't have a problem with anything. They're all just chill. They don't, you know, they don't bother you every five seconds. They don't come up to you about this and that and this and that. They kind of just chill out. Let me talk about some things that I don't like. Uh, time off task. Time off task with pick and Stowe is two different things. For pick i think it is it's like five minutes every five minutes every time you hit five or six minutes that's time off task and for stow it's every three minutes uh for pick your rate has to be like a hundred and for stow your rate has to be 120 uh one of my managers all he said is instead of worrying about what getting to 120 just stow two things every one minute or four things every two minutes so the only time that you might not make your rate when you're actually like working like doing stow and stuff is when it comes to you not having any space so like there's a lot of other people stowing uh there's some big behind boxes that's in the cupboards and whatever in the drawers and all of that so you might not find space for some of like the really big things that you have so like a big comforter that's about the size of the box you probably won't find space for that so you just gotta leave it in your tote bring it back if you really like you gotta look a little bit though look a little bit if you don't find no space then just bring it back i don't really have much things that i don't like about stow to be honest with you it's just the time off task it's a little wonky i don't i don't like it but it is what it is um some things to pay attention to when you're doing stow this is important if you are stowing something please make sure that you're paying attention to the quantity of things that you're stowing so don't hold a bunch of things in your hand and then scan and then or like put everything in the drawer just because it looks the same and then throw everything there in there because a lot of times they're different sizes or they might just be a little off than the other things so just go slow and just scan everything they're not gonna yell at you for for your uh taking your time and actually doing what you're supposed to do but they definitely will yell if you scan 50 of something when there was only really one of that thing and 49 of something else that was all the same that's when you get in trouble when you also have sets like let's say you have a set of three it's supposed to be sold sold as, as a set but instead you take it apart and then you scan three of them in, inside of the bin. Now the computer is picking up that you have three sets of three instead of one set of three. They're going to come to you. They're going to talk to you about that too. I once had a friend and she opened the boxes of like condition or something. It was like four in each box. She opened all the boxes and she scanned at all four of them when she was only supposed to scan the box of four. 
The guy came to her, he talked to her, he had to fix it. She had to bring her thing to problem solve, problem solve fixed it, or they had some type of problem fixing it, but at the end of the day, it got fixed. So just try to avoid that because they might try to write you up for things like that, really stupid things, but at the same time, it's not really stupid because, you know, sometimes it's easy to just pay attention, or if you don't know, bring it to problem solve and ask them to fix it or ask them what it is. On your scanner, you do have a little info bar, so you can always press the info and then see. If it says like a container and uh, two, you got like two things in a container and it's the one that you scanned, it says like one liter and the container, the, the, the whole box says like two liters, then you know like you scan each of them. You don't scan just the whole box of, of two. Um, I'm hot. What else can I tell y'all that's gonna actually be useful to y'all in stuff? Sometimes in Stowe, you have a problem with your, like, I had a problem with my U-boat one time because I had, I got somebody else's car. It was the end of the day. I didn't want to get, like, a whole nother uh, U-boat, so I just got one that somebody else left. I scanned their things, and I scanned, like, everything in, and then at the end of it, it's like, it tells me that I'm missing something, or, like, one of the uh, totes isn't clean, or they're still dirty. That means that some, the person that had it before me, they didn't scan everything or they must have uh, double scanned something when it was two different things and they thought it was the same so now it's coming up that it's still there but there's nothing inside of the tote and it's not gonna let you log out of it unless you go get like a manager to scan your badge now you have to tell your manager straight up like i had it but somebody had it before me or you could just simply tell them straight up like yeah i must have did something wrong if it was you then just tell them that you did something wrong they'll talk to you and they'll just fix whatever it is that might be wrong it's hot they'll fix whatever it is that needs to be fixed um but be careful because they will write you up for it like anything majority of the times they give you like a nice little warning or they oh ooh, ooh, or they talk to you but i don't know stow is really easy but like once you actually start doing it there's like a whole bunch of other little tricky shiznit when you get your tote from somewhere, let's say, no, not a tote. When you get your U-boat from, like, let's say they tell you to go to 134 to go get your U-boat. You go there, get your U-boat, and you can't finish it. You have to go on lunch. So you log out of your scanner, and instead, do not do not go anywhere else but where you went to get your U-boat. So go back to one whatever, 145 or 123, wherever you scan that, that uh, drop zone to pick it up, that's where you go scan your drop zone to put it back. Don't leave it somewhere else because then they're going to come and find you and tell you that they can't find it. Or they might tell you that they found it this time, but next time they're going to make sure that they don't find it and you get a write-up from that. So just um, pay attention to stuff like that. If you make a mistake and you scan the first floor, but they send you up to the third floor because there was no work on the, the, the whatever floor, just simply log back out, log back in, and then scan the new drop zone. Log in, in to do... Logging in to start stowing is really simple. Another thing that I do, like with stow, because there's a lot of different, there's, I'm not gonna say like there's a lot, but so far I have done two different stows. So I have stowed like regular things that everyone's gonna get, and I have also stowed uh, customer return products. When it comes to customer return products, you get something different. It's no longer a, like a, a drop zone at every station, you just get one drop zone, and it's right here. Um, I would scan it and then I would have to go to the damaged area. So if somebody was to send back a phone, um, a water bottle that they, they broke or that was broke or anything that comes to you that y'all no longer want, it comes back to us and then the stowers have to stow it so that it, we could uh, somebody else can pick it and get it out of the building to go to the trash or something like that. Uh, when you stow things like that, it is, I'm not going to lie to you, it is the most stressful thing ever. Stressful. Why? There's no space. No one really moves the damage. We have so much damage in our building, nobody touches it. The pickers barely touch it. But when they do, and the spot actually clears out, it gets like re ooh, refilled faster than anything. So that's, that's a little stressful when you sit in there hot trying to make your rate of 120 
but you scan something like seriously i scan something every i'm not going sometimes i scan something every 10 minutes just because i really cannot find any space not even a little cubicle it was this one day when i was stolen and i had to literally well this was the customer return i had to drag my ass on the floor like on uh a's b's and c's the bins just to find a space and it took me the longest time i ended up finding space of course but it just it was really time consuming and i've heard word that whenever you do things like that you get um what you call it why is he speaking you get labor track that's what i meant to say but i don't know thankfully nobody has ever like came up to me and told me that i got time off task when i'm uh stowing customer return and I think maybe because I'm labor track, that's why. But just in case, you know, ask your PAs or ask uh, whoever your stole manager, customer return, stole manager, it doesn't matter. Ask them, is y'all, what the fuck? Ask them, is y'all getting labor track just in case? Avoid trouble, avoid whatever it is that they, they might throw at you. Um, I believe that there's two parts of stole, like two part to the stowing process the part where you actually get the things off the truck and then you like put them on u-boats so that it could go to other people and then there's another part where you actually like put the things on the shelves now the part where you you uh put them on the the, the t U boats I never did that before I wish I could tell y'all about that to help y'all and just like fill in the blanks of everything but I know nothing about that I never did it I would love to do it but I don't know how to and I don't I don't know if they trained for that I've signed up for Stowe and they only gave me one thing so I guess that's it or maybe things like that is only for people that's in the actual um department because I'm not from that department I'm actually from pick but I just uh cross trained so maybe I don't know somebody could let me know down below if I gotta actually like be from that department some perks I'm not gonna lie to you at my building the best perk about uh, what's that thing called Stowe is the fact that they leave early if you work at Stowe you leave at like 530 everybody else leaves at 6 615 and 630 scan to scan i talked about it with pick and it's it's pretty much the same thing but when you go to lunch from the time that you scanned your last package at my building it's 20 minutes it might be 15 at yours but you have that amount of time to sit down eat your food and then go right back and scan something within your time your break time limit when it comes to lunch for us they do a nice little uh 10 minute and then you get time off task so you gotta second you log in no the second you clock in you gotta log into your scanner, go where you're supposed to be, and then stow something within 10 minutes or you're gonna get time off task. So just be mindful of that too. Um, I know my Amazon is cracking down on a lot of things. Maybe you guys is like other Amazons isn't, but just be mindful of time off task. They don't care anymore. They're definitely giving it, giving it out freely again. They stopped after a while because of like Corona and a whole bunch of other stuff, but now they're doing it again. So just be careful and pay attention to the times when you uh go to pick up a uh a whatever when you go to pick up a u-boat you scan the drop zone scan your the, the either you get three totes you might get 12 totes 16 25 20 scan all of them and then you press two and then you scan another tote to actually start stowing and then you just stow. put it in the bin first keep your hand on the bin so you don't like forget or anything and then you scan the bin and then that's it sometimes it'll stow sometimes it won't uh sometimes your your bin your scanner will tell you that the bin is full if the bin is full just take it out and put it somewhere else you only get like 14 unique asins to put in a bin and if you have like if they have 13 they only gonna let you stow one of the uh your things so like one of the unique asins if you have six of the same things and you wanted to put it into a bin and it says that it's full leave it if you put it into another bin and then it says that it's full when you're trying to like stow something different just stow all of the same things together it won't judge about how it will judge it won't kick you out because of how many things you're stowing that's the same it'll kick you out by how many things that you're stowing that's different or like different asins to be exact but 
we have certain sections in the job where you stow stuff so um for stowing books it's mainly left to like mod workers like the mod books people that work there they mainly put their books there so if we have books like regular amazon have books we don't put our books where they put their books we put our books somewhere else um it still look the same like the cubicles that we put it in still look the same but we can't actually stow where the rest of the books are kept uh when it comes to shoes uh at my building at least we have a section that's only for shoes but let's just say that somebody gets lazy or they have like two shoes is in their one of their totes they're just gonna stow it either with the clothes or like with uh library deeps and call it a day we have apparel apparel is just clothes underwear bras anything that's considered clothes uh they all go in the same bins you might see whenever you go over there though you might see some people put different things inside of them don't do it it, it just makes shit difficult for real for real stow the things where they're supposed to be stowed because when push comes to shove and then the managers start coming around now they're coming for your your <laughs> Now they coming for you, trying to find out why you're stowing things where it's not supposed to be. Just put them where they're supposed to be, to be honest with you. It's not worth having them talk to you or complain to you that you put things in the wrong place. It's not worth it. So just put them where they belong. Uh, they don't like drinks. They don't like shoes. They don't like anything that's not clothes in the apparel section. And I, <laughs> I know because I was trying to put like this dog bacon bag. It was big as shit. And it was no space anywhere else. So I tried to put it over there. And it actually fit. And she was like, like one of the managers, she was like, no. I was like, mm. <laughs> But uh, yeah, just uh, follow their rules. Unless you're not being watched, I guess. And can't really say anything to you. They don't know what you're doing. We also have a high retail value section where we stow phones, watches, uh, sunglasses, anything that's really high retail value and expensive, they store it there. What other section? We have a section filled with like only things that's hung up. If you get something that's supposed to be hung up, don't take the hanger off and put it in like one of the drawers. Just wait or give it back to the, the problem solve people. What the fuck is that? Give it back to the problem solve people and let them fix it let them put it in a bin where it's supposed like on the first floor where it's supposed to be stowed or where, whatever floor y'all got don't 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 stuff the people's dresses or suits inside of drawers it's not worth it and it's a lot of times that i have to pick them up and they're the, everything is just cr everything is just crumbled and ruined so don't don't do that care about people's products like it would it, like it's yours that's all that i usually that's the way i usually think about it care about it like it's yours because I know damn well I don't want my dress or anything like that inside some bullshit. I told y'all how to get inside of a to like how to log into stow. When you want to exit out of stow, if you're dropping totes, when you're done, if you have like something in your tote and you want to drop it, press D enter. If there's nothing in your tote and your tote is completely empty, all your totes are empty, all 25, all 60, all 50, it doesn't even matter. If all of them is empty, then press E enter. Then it's gonna ask you something. It's gonna ask you to like check everything and make sure that there's nothing in there. And you're just gonna press continue. So that's C. And then um, it's gonna tell you to scan the drop zone or something like. No, it's just gonna exit you out. And then it's gonna wait for you to scan another drop zone to get another tote. And that's it. Stowing is really easy. If you stole before, comment and let me know. And let's talk about it. Let's be friends. <laughs> nah, but for real. Um, let me know, like, if you actually, if Stowe is your actual department, comment down below and let me know, like, if I could do, like, put the, the, the whatever you want to call it on the U-boats, because I really would do that. Like I was saying. Let me know, comment down below, make a vid, let, let me know if y'all want me to, uh, make a video or something, because I definitely will. Um, if y'all have anything or, like, got anything to tell me about anything just comment down below if y'all got any questions comment down below if y'all got any anything comment down below and i would definitely reply to you guys i don't do that i don't see messages and then not reply to them because i'm too good or nothing like that i actually reply to messages so just let me know comment down below guys 
But anyways, thanks for watching this video, y'all. Leave a like, a com- <sighs> Sonic, I wanted to cry. Leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. And I will be back with another video. Hopefully, the next video is me telling y'all about pack. Or, like, me showing y'all how to stow or something. But with everything else, I can't just guess myself into stow. I have to wait until they call me. So, next time they call me back to stow, I'm going to make a video for y'all. And I'm just going to show y'all a little bit of behind the scenes. What I do, just like what I did with Ship Doc. I might get in trouble for it, but, um, what I'm going to do. Other than, like, not record. But anyways, yeah. Thanks for watching, you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed.